tell you a little bit about myself. Okay, my name is Kevin Ford. I just gave myself a new job, which is to quit my job within two or three months. Um, the purpose of quitting my job is to uh, get involved with what I believe to be my purpose in life, which is personal development and uh, helping other people find their path and helping people with their relationships. Um, right now for money, I work for Caesars Entertainment. I work for a casino company here in Las Vegas, which I very much like. I like casinos and I like the atmosphere of people coming just to relax and enjoy themselves. I, I came to Las Vegas very intentionally to get involved in this business. Um, and I like Las Vegas a lot too because it's a city where people can be whoever they want to be. There's no judgment involved in this city. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do here and uh, it's a safe place to do it. The next step though is to uh, evolve a little further and help people not only relax and feel good but then sort of support and motivate people to achieve their own passions, give them the courage to uh, build a life for themselves that um, uh, that they'll be happy to have lived when they get toward the end of it, which is my own goal, get toward the end of my life and look back and say, that was a worthwhile time spent. <laughs> so I've realized that in the jobs that I've had, uh, financial analysis and other kinds of Excel related jobs, I like Excel quite a bit, that's a cool tool, but I realized if I spent my whole life doing that, when I got to the end of my life, I would look back and go, man, that was a waste of fucking time. Why did you do that? You know. So this has been gnawing at me for a long time. I've been on this path of trying to find what my purpose is and how to fulfill it for at least 15 years. You know, the questions have been in my head since I started working. As um, soon as I got my first job, I got a job I really liked or I, that I really wanted. I thought it was an ideal job for somebody who wanted to do what I did at the time, which was finance and analysis. And immediately I was like, is this what it's going to be like? Because this, this doesn't feel that good, you know, it's, I get, the, the money is nice and it's comfortable, but uh, this doesn't feel like, uh, I'm, I'm not fulfilled, you know, I don't have any fulfillment from this. And so that's what I've really been on a search for. And um, now that I'm trying to make my life out of that, I realize that it would be very uh, hypocritical of me to encourage other people to follow their passions while I'm doing this job that, uh, that I'm not passionate about. So I realize the irony there. I'm starting now, I've actually, I've tried to segue into something that I've been doing for years now for free, which when I talk with my close friends or even new acquaintances, when I meet somebody, uh, when I'm out and about, as often as not, the conversation turns to uh, some sort of topic of, of deep importance to the person because I'm not really interested in chatting about the weather and I don't want to chat about sports too much, you know. I want to know important things about the people I'm talking to, by which I mean things that are important to them, you know. And when you start asking questions like that and talking about that kind of thing, uh, I seem to have, well, I'll be immodest. I know I have the ability to make people that I'm talking with feel very comfortable. I got that from my mother. It's, I didn't learn it myself. She gave me that gift, you know. I learned it by watching her help people around her feel comfortable. So, People who talk to me often feel very comfortable sharing things and I ask them questions and probe a little bit and uh, sooner or later I'm hearing about what the biggest problem in their life is, you know, what part of their life they're unhappy with and how they feel stalled and, and uh, my role has been to give support and motivation and, and share a little feedback. Sometimes I have ideas, mostly it's just to give energy and say, oh, you listen, you have more power than you think you do, this kind of thing, you know. Help people feel like they do have choices, realize they have put themselves in their position wherever they're in. There's a little bit of personal responsibility and tough love involved, you know. Wherever you're at, that's your doing. You created this and it also is within your power to make something different if that's what you want. So. The conversations when I'm most fulfilled when I talk to somebody is when we're talking about something, you know, some important topic to them and uh, I feel like I can help them or I feel like at the end of the conversation I've given them some hope and some energy and some motivation toward making a, making a change uh, in whatever area that they, that they want to work on. So I've re that's, that's very fulfilling to me. If I spend the rest of my life doing that, that will be a life well spent. So I'm trying to figure out how I could make a living doing that. So I've got a website under development and uh, I'm going to just put my message out there about here's how I can help you and, and we'll see if people like it. So after I quit my job, 
this, hopefully this website will be up and running and I'll be sharing my message and uh, people will be calling and I'll be doing this for free until I see if there's any demand for it. You know, just, yeah, let's call, call let's talk, let's Skype, let's uh, FaceTime, whatever. And uh, if it turns out that there's demand for it, then I'll move toward uh, figuring out how to make a life out of it, make a living out of it.